hate talking into the lens. So okay, I, yeah, you can talk Yeah, I always you. hate that. It's like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Darren Patton, and I've been black since I was born. So, um, I was hanging out with one of my friends. Uh, it was after hours at this Mexican restaurant. And, you know, we were sitting there eating. You know, we had been drunk and drinking and all that good stuff. So we were coming down, and we were hungry. So we went to get something to eat. And like a wedding party had come in after the fact, uh, after the wedding, you know, they came in to get something to eat just like we did. So, you know, I'm sitting there eating, talking to my buddy Rick. And the first time I heard the N word, it's a sort of like the antennas went up. When I heard nigga, I was like, oh shit. I was like, okay, it's me, my friend Rick, uh, who's a white guy. And like 15 Mexican guys and probably 12 girls. And it's like, okay, uh, I don't know if he'll be ready to fight or not. But uh, as I'm just sitting there listening, and it's like, you know, nigga this, nigga that, nigga that. It, I realized it wasn't directed towards me. And I got this really weird feeling because it's like I felt I should say something. But they were just using the term like you would use, hey dude, hey guy, fella, buddy, or whatever. But they were just talking to each other calling each other niggas. So I was like, um, do I really want to go over here and say something and possibly get my ass kicked? <laughs> or, you know, do I just, will I just do, should I just let it go? Because they weren't personally talking about me. They weren't, I know it's a derogatory term, but they weren't using it in a derogatory way. So it's one of those really weird things. Before this had happened, I would, if you were to ask me what would happen if, you know, if you were sitting around and somebody said, nigga, it wasn't black, uh, what would your response be? And my initial response would be like, back in the day, I'd have been like, oh, you know, I, we, I'm going to confront them and, you know, we're going to uh, handle this and, you know, if we fight, we fight. <laughs> but when it's like you, your friend who you're not, I'm pretty sure he would have, if had something jumped off, he would have been there to help. But it's like, do I really want to start some shit tonight uh, with all of these guys who are not talking about me. The use of the word is so pervasive now by people that aren't black, and it is offensive to me. Uh, it's offensive to me every time I hear it. Um, I choose not to say the N word. I do use the N word, I say nigga, around black people. But if it's, with, uh, if it's around people that aren't black, and even if there's a black person to say they're not comfortable with me using the word, I won't use it. I guess it's, uh, I guess it's just, you know, life in 2015 in a multicultural, multiracial society. So, I think it's the circumstances and the situation. I do know people that would have said something. And, you know, they would have definitely been in their rights to say, I wanted to say something. I just, Did you they know, notice you at all? Or were they, they, they were just doing their own thing? They, nothing was, I thought it might have been directed toward me. But once I realized it wasn't, I don't even think they knew I was in the place. Were it confrontational like that were they calling me a nigga then yeah it would have been a problem i would have said something yeah i would have definitely said something and but still like, got my ass kicked <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it would have been worth it yeah <laughs> on principle <laughs>